Good morning, Bridge Nation. My name is Richie B. You're Welcome true. to Top of the Bridge. Up and go. How are you? What a weekend it was. My God. So much entertainment. World Cup football finals. Man, oh man. We live for days like these, don't we? Good morning. It's eight and a half minutes on the down side of six o'clock. Richie B is here with you. I see Romy is back from a long trek. Welcome back, Romy. Time for, let me say it oddly. Yeah, all right. You give me the, the, the letters, the acronym. What? No. Okay. Give me, give me the letters. Right. W-T-F. Thank you. <laughs> Pause. That means, what the fact? <laughs> Without <laughs> taking no chance. <laughs> You're not taking no check. <laughs> Inside of what the fact this morning. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, we understand was merely a marketing creation. Can you believe that? Well, here are the facts. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, has become an integral part of Christmas culture. And we all know the story of poor Rudolph trying to fit in with Santa's other reindeer. Well, did you know that he was created for a marketing campaign? Let me give you the stats and the facts. American department store Montgomery Ward wanted to make fun coloring books to give away to children in 1939. And they tasked Robert L. May to create a poem for the book. Our favorite reindeer, Rudolph, was born due to this and became a cultural icon for children worldwide. Even better, the story of Rudolph is all about why we shouldn't bully others just because they look different, but instead embrace them. Okay? And uh, that's a very positive message that was being sent from back then and one that we still need in today's world. We can see why Rudolph has become such a beloved character. All right? Yeah, you got to embrace um, people who might even look different from you do. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So... That is the genesis of Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, really came into existence as a result of a marketing creation. Rudolph, where are you? There's dashing and dancing. It was a big weekend for entertainment in Jamaica. Of course, uh, whilst we also enjoyed the fantastic World Cup finals where we say again, congratulations to Argentina. Locally in Kingston, we know that there are a number of events, including Footloose, that also had thousands in attendance. And then, of course, last night's Burna Boy concert featuring, of course, Popcon and Leela Ike. Looking at Leela Ike's performance, though admitting she was nervous when she received the call to join the Burna Boy live lineup, reggae act Leela Ike, the night's first performer, took her performance at the uh, National Stadium in stride. She was introduced, of course, and uh, performed songs like Thy Will, um, uh, heard from her album The Experience. She followed up with Sweet Inspiration, gave the crowd uh, uh, inside the stadium a uh, delivery of some smooth vocals right throughout. Uh, songs like Forget Me and Wanted, Second Chance, and even the big current one called De Niro. During her set, she, of course, uh, brought on stage Protégé, her, her mentor, and Kabaka Pyramid. And uh, she got huge forwards when she performed Where I'm Coming From. Of course, Pop Khan was next, and uh, the unruly boss took charge from the get-go. Uh, nonetheless, although he was doing a fantastic show, he actually stormed off stage at one point because during his performance, uh, persons in the audience, the audience could not hear uh, his delivery. And there were some issues with the audio uh, provisions. And so he stormed off the stage. However, uh, he re-entered the stage and uh, gave the crowd a fantastic performance, during which time he brought on stage uh, Beresford Hammond. You know, they have two combinations together. And uh, they he also brought on uh, and professed his love <laughs> publicly for Tony and Singh while performing their hit single Next to Me, during which time he kissed her. <laughs> 
uh, it looks like he kissed her several times too during the <laughs> during the performance. So it was a good look. Tony Ann Singh looked very very comfortable on stage. Already we know that she's a fantastic vocalist and seems like she definitely has uh, is is going to be a good performer. And it's a good look. You can see it on the screens as we speak. Tony Ann and uh, Popcorn going at it. Of course, Burner Boy, the the big African giant did all that was expected of him and some from start to finish very engaging performance hit after hit after hit he uh noted the fact that even as an african he feels like he's jamaican and we ought to embrace nigeria because we are brothers and sisters and uh of course during his set he brought out sirani um, they have a big song called Secret, and that went down very, very well. He spoke about the fact that he used to attend um, barbershops in London, and he would hear no games by Sirani, and he kept saying to himself, one of these days I want to be like Sirani. Sirani came up and uh, performed uh, Secret with him, and uh, that was off the chain. Uh, he referred to Sirani as legend, and uh, he also brought on Pop Khan to deliver the song Tony and Sing. Bernabar came, saw, sang, and conquered, and is definitely on his way to even bigger things. Of course, uh, at Footloose, uh, Cable Town, the fireman, was in uh, full effect and gave a scintillating yet short performance, but it was fire from start to finish and had the crowd eating out of the palm of his hands. It was a fantastic week, and there are other events that uh, time will not allow us to get into right now, but that was Update! Yeah. Time for us now to go to our uh, proverb of the day. Romy, you've got it. Me come if you drink milk. Me no come if you count cow. Say what? Me come if you drink milk. Me no come if you count cow. <laughs> that is a pro- that is a popular one. Yeah, me come if you drink milk. Me no come if you count cow. When you hear that proverb, what it means is you need to just simply mind your own business. Okay? Enjoy what you are entitled to. Don't worry about details which do not concern you. Mind your own business. There you have it. Me come here for drink milk. Me not come here for count cow. That is our proverb of the day. I wonder how many people are actually going to take those words seriously. <laughs> I have some people who just can't help themselves. They have to dig in and dip in to other people's business. But remember the proverb. Come have a drink milk, men will come have a count cow. Mind your own business. All right, it's 6.47. Time now for... We're standing by for the pet peeve of the morning. What are pet peeves? Well, these are things that people do that you might find upsetting, annoying, irritating. And uh, sometimes you speak about it, sometimes you don't. Usually we hear from our Bridge uh, Nation and they tell us some things that people do that they find upsetting in our pet peeve segment. You can also participate, by the way, by sending a pet peeve to 876-551-5782. That is our WhatsApp number. Now, here's this morning's pet peeve. Nothing worse than Christmas shopping, people. My biggest pet peeve is when I go into a store and they have persons following you around. Like, I understand you might have one and two persons that come and pick up your stuff, but the fact that you're going to be following me around while I shop will let me know that my money is not welcome here. One of my biggest pet peeves, why are you following me? Why are you checking my list this often? What is this about? I feel more interrogated than anything else while I'm spending my money with you. My biggest pet peeve. Okay, next time call the police, 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 police. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that is a pet peeve of one uh, member of the Bridge Nation. Is that something that you find upsetting as well? Leave the people, make them spend their money and don't follow them around and try to dip into them business. Maybe that person is not listening to the um, to the proverb that we share. Mind your own business. Yeah. And uh, we're about to get into our interview segment. Uh, of course, uh, our next guest uh, looks forward to Christmas Day. 
um, or usually he looks forward to the Christmas Yuletide season because this is when he gives, he gets an opportunity to treat the elderly and the homeless. And from all indications, he's back with it with it this year. Uh, this uh, this outreach. We're talking about Ricardo Burke, otherwise called Mr. Volunteer, uh, who is the managing director for the Youth, sorry, the Youth for Change Foundation, spelled Y U T E. All right, and uh, this Christmas Day, we understand that uh, the fifth staging of Christmas Day feeding of the homeless will take place. Uh, Ricardo is going to talk to us about this year's Christmas Day feeding and how the listeners can even assist uh, if they so uh, wish or desire. Good morning, Ricardo. How are you doing today? Seasons greetings, my brother. Good morning, good morning man. Blessings, man. Thanks for the opportunity. All right. Uh, good to have you back on the program with us. How you been, bro? All is well? Ricardo, are you there? Uh, no, are you hearing me? I'm hearing you now, Ricardo. Well, good morning and, and blessings. Give thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, man. So we've had you on on before. We've spoken about um, uh, Youth for Change, the foundation. Um, but for those who are not familiar with your organization, Ricardo, please tell tell us a little bit more about the organization and the work that you guys have been doing over the years. So we are an NGO, a community-based organization as well. Um, we basically create equal opportunity for all. So our main focus is youth development, where we create a platform so you can be exposed to volunteerism. So apart from that, we also have a breakfast program, which we provide breakfast to students each school morning. I think the program now has 25 students. Mm -hmm. So everyone will give them breakfast to the school. We also provide lunch for the assistants and a host of other um, programs mm -hmm. and activities. The, the, this year in particular, um... Were you able to do all of those things, or was there more emphasis placed on uh, s some of those initiatives? Oh, we, we basically do all of those things. Even during the COVID period, we were still very active. So mm -hmm. the youth group is tasked every month. They must do an outreach every month. Mm -hmm. um, as you have continued on this journey, and we commend you, we have commended you before, we do it again this morning. What are some of the challenges that you face in trying to give back, though? Uh, and not necessarily call it challenges, it's just a part of the journey. Uh, most times, uh, it's, it's not really funding because most times we are we kind of uh, do things on our own in terms of we might sell stuff, stories, funds and stuff like that. So basically, it's just the way of sometimes wanting to do, to do more. You know, that's basically the challenge sometimes. Just do more. Mm -hmm. You you have a vision and you've uh, sold other persons the vision. Um, have you found it difficult uh, to get uh, persons to come on board with you just to volunteer and 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 and, and buy into your vision? Uh, no, because we have a core uh, a core of youth. I think our youth group now is at um, close to thirty five um, youth. Mm -hmm. So it's a process where we take them from like probably grade five and we have them up until they become um, young adults. Mm -hmm. I um, mean, the early 20s, they're about to 29. Sometimes they remain and sometimes they might move on to jobs or overseas or college, university, stuff like that. But they still give back as well. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, let's focus on this this year's um, Christmas Day feeding uh, of the homeless program. W w what is coming up for, for those uh, homeless persons? What, what, what are the plans that you have? All right, so this is an annual event for me personally. Every every Christmas, I know persons are now and spend um, Christmas dinner with family. Mm -hmm. For me, Christmas is to give back to the homeless persons on the street. So for the past five years, this will be our fifth year, we provide um, a, a cooked meal um, for persons on the streets in probably Spanish town, half a tree, downtown, crossroads. So we drive around the urban areas and distribute food to persons on the street during Christmas time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what's the target this year? We are looking probably about 150 people this year. Okay. And th th they have that many people on the streets across Kingston? <laughs> Trust me, they do. They do. <laughs> wow. Um, for something like this, um, Ricardo, do you do you have to, um, you know, like um, work in tandem with or get permission from, say, the KSA MC? Or any such organization. Normal, normally, you seek, normally you seek permission from the, the, the Kingston and, and Saint Andrew Municipal Corporation. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So they they have to um pretty much almost like sign off on this on this program. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah so what will you be serving? 
<laughs> to these people? It's a... Uh, the, the, the target for this year is um, curry beef and french fried chicken with um, salad and Christmas cake and juice, water as well. You said curry beef? Yeah, man. That's curry beef. <laughs> <laughs> you going to help making, making that, preparing, preparing that, uh, Ricardo? Yeah, man. It's very delicious, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> curry beef and french fried chicken, you said? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds like a nice, uh, a nice meal you got going for these wonderful people out there who are just simply less fortunate. Um, are you still in need of of assistance? And how can the persons listening right now assist this um, initiative, this program? Yes, we do. Um, so we are on our social media platform. It's used for change. Um, y u t e s, the numeral four, c h a n g e, and you can contact us at two nine four. 8252. That's 876-294-8252. All right. As we look to 2023, no doubt you'll be doing more of the same. Any particular plan that you care to highlight before you go? Yeah. Um. So we start with that other program in 2009, just before COVID came in, which we call Fruitastic Day, where we provide a serving of fruits to early childhood education schools across Jamaica. And because of COVID, we altered that program. So we start we resume it um, since September. So for next year, we want to continue it even bigger next year. Mm-hmm. So we choose two to three basic schools in each parish, random basic school, the one that they forgot about, the one they call forgotten schools, and provide a serving of fruits and a bottle of water to every child in, the, in each school. So that's a program we want to revamp in the new year coming mm-hmm. up. Good. Anything we can do to assist Ricardo, you know you can always call on us. And uh, before you go, if you see me on the roads um, at Christmas time, it means that I, I'm, I'm desirous of, um, of, of benefiting from your services. So don't pass me by, okay? <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks much. And give thanks for the continued support. All right. Really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, Ricardo. Thank you so much. Ricardo Burke called Mr. Volunteer. Even oddly, if, if, if him see me out there, you think about that pass me? No. Oh, All right. Make sure we... Get some of the curry beef on. Definitely. <laughs> Can't pass it. Can't pass it. Can't no, Ricardo wouldn't do that. But no, on a serious note, um, we really want to commend him on uh, consistently giving back. And uh, he has done it right through the year and um, and has even bigger plans for next year. So we salute himself yeah, as the managing job. director of Youths for Change and also all of the young volunteers that he has um, assisting him um, on these programs. Well done. And keep it up, all right? Jamaica needs more people like you, Ricardo. Big up yourself. Definitely. Uh, time now for the Secret Sound Game. And uh, this is where we get an opportunity to uh, allow you to have some fun with you and allow you to win what is going to be a fantastic prize this morning. I'm trying to reach it with my right hand. It is so huge. Hey, Romy, uh, can they see the, the streamer see the, um, the gift package? Man, oh, man. Courtesy of Select Brands, thank you very much uh, to our friends at Select Brands for that fantastic gift package that we have to give away. Telephone numbers to call 876-676-4996. And you can also uh, call us via WhatsApp on 876-551-5782. All right, now it's time for us to allow you to hear for the first time a new secret sound because we had a winner last week Thursday. So here is the new secret sound. Right. I think we need to work on some more volume on that sound so that uh, our bridge nation can hear it even more clearly. It's a new sound. We're not expecting that uh, you necessarily are going to solve it at the first go or at the get go. But um, this is what this new sound sounds like. So I have to ask you the question, what sound is that? Hey, give us a call on 876-676-4996. If you can identify that sound, we have that gift package to my right. Uh, wow. Chock full of all kinds of good things. Uh, got some stones, ginger wine in there. You got your mug, you got your cap, you got uh, T-shirts and a whole lot more. It's huge. 
and it's with the compliments of select brands. You can win it if you participate, but not just participate if you give us the correct answer to that secret sound. Like we said, we're just exposing your, it, it to your ears this morning, and um, we'll start taking your calls tomorrow. We're going to make sure, DJ Audley, um, that we uh, get some more volume on it uh, for tomorrow morning when we get a chance to play one more time, all right? It's 23 now before the hour of 8 o'clock. And, of course, uh, Robo Ranks will be joining us at 7.45. Got a call? All right. Let's see if uh, this person here is on to something with what they would have heard a while ago. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Welcome. Season's greetings. Season's greetings. Hi. How are you? Yes. Morning, Missy. Good morning. Yes. This is Yasmin Kingston. Who's calling? This is Yasmin. Oh, Yasmin. Yes, sir. All right. Nice hearing from you, Yasmin. Yeah. So you heard the sound? Um, yes, I heard it. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if it's a dog, you know, sh- shaking himself, shaking off some water of some kind. I mean, like, uh, the, his tugs and his chain is also making that noise. Oh, that is an interesting <laughs> guess, Yasmin. <laughs> you're hearing the sound for the first time this morning, and already you're coming up with that answer. Let's hear the sound one more time, oddly. Oh. Dog get wet up. <laughs> the chain and a flash on the chain. Yo. <laughs> hey, hey, Yasmin. Yasmin. <laughs> it has never happened before. Oh, We're the boy. first morning of hey, a new secret you. sound. We have a winner. Thank Never you. before has that happened. You Thank know what? You. you know what I really like. I like what, when sir? I like when you all win, especially at Christmas time. It gives me great joy. I feel like I want to celebrate, but not yet. Sorry, it's not the correct answer. <laughs> have a good day. Merry Christmas, Yasmin. Oh, boy. Now, think about it some more. Hey, um, our good friend, Mike, my good friend, uh, Robert uh, Dabdub, I'd like to say good morning to him, uh, the owner of uh, New Budget Hardware and Supplies. You heard about the fire that they had down there. Massive fire. Really? Yep, massive fire on the weekend. And uh, I think it was Friday, if my member serves me correct. And, um, you yeah, know, they're trying to put the pieces back together. Uh, Mr. Dabdub actually... Um, I reached out to him and he sent me a, a picture as well that uh, I think on the weekend they were able to set up and were still able to conduct some business. And, um, and, 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 um, but they would have suffered a whole lot of loss as a result of that fire. And um, just want to say good morning to Mr. Dabdu and, uh, of course, to every member of staff, Mr. Nelson and all the members of staff down there. And uh, we hope that... Uh, you'll be all right going forward, all right? 20 minutes now before the hour of uh, 8 o'clock, and uh, all right, let's take another call. Good morning. No, fear. Morning, Dennis. How are you doing? Good day, my dad. Good day, man. New sound there, you know? Can you hear it, man? What you say? Well, you know, let me check, sir. Somebody had a piece of chain, you know? And come back again. Yeah, like, like a chain across a gate, and you pull the chain and I draw the chain, you fold it up. Chain? Yeah, man. That's where you go? Get back, right, that's where you go. Eh? Yeah, man, and that's where you go, win, lose, or draw. You feel like that enough for, 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 for get that big package, Dennis? Well, well, I mean, I don't know if I saw a saying, but if I know so, I just know so. I have a little fear. Well, I yeah. mean, I have no fear. Hardly have little fear too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if we take it, if we take a taxi, we are gonna have a fear still. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, man. Cause we have to jump in a square. <laughs> right. I will do a fast tablier. Hey, Dennis, let me tell yeah. you something. Yeah. You see the answer, the brother. Yeah, you are wrong. Thank, Thank you for that. trying, nonetheless, bro. Big up yourself, all right. That's uh, how we wrap it up this morning inside of the Secret Sound game. At Season's greetings, Robert Ranks. Good morning, sir. <laughs> there you, you know, I just tried to slope off to do something. Yes, Season's <laughs> greetings, my brother. Good morning. Good morning, Robo. How are you doing? 
I'm not too bad. I'm just trying to, trying to reach out to something on the other side of the studio, yeah, like so. to keep me warm. And then you just, uh, you just, you just log me in. But yeah, <laughs> good morning, cold morning, wet morning in what? London, but no snow. I can report no snow. So you know, it's um, back to grey. We're just back to grey. Uh. We've left from white to grey. But it is a, a great afternoon here in London, UK. How are you doing over this side? Not too bad at all on this side. Uh, bright, sunshiny morning and uh, beautiful weather. Uh, coming off of a great weekend of entertainment and sport. Uh, maybe the best uh, World Cup ever is what people are saying. And, um, maybe. And maybe. That's what a lot of people are saying. And also, of course, uh, some great uh, some great events, uh, entertainment events in Jamaica, including last night's Burner Boy concert featuring Popcorn and Leela Ike and several others, including Capleton at Footloose. Man, it was a fantastic weekend. How was yours? It was a great weekend as well. Of course, um, the World Cup was uh, was obviously the big talking point for us on this side. And uh, when, when I say maybe, because there's a few people over here saying, what are you talking about? What about 1966? It must still tell you about 1966, you know. So, <laughs> but it was it was a final worthy to grace any sporting stadium. The whole world was watching it. Possibly the most viewed. I think it actually is the most viewed World Cup ever. Uh, more people got to see this World Cup than any other World Cup in full color. And despite all the naysayers and of course the uh, the Western media's attack on the country itself, what a thing! It's proven to be one of the greatest World Cup hosting of a world cup and it, and it also reminds me richie of of when the world cup went to south africa mm -hmm. and um the locals came to the grounds they were allowed to come into the grounds because you couldn't actually fill the grounds with paying public so some of them were were given discounted rates and they turned up at the world cup in south africa with their vuvuzelas mm. and they blew the vuvuzelas the whole way through the match Holy and it and it made the uh, western journalists so disgruntled and again Lot people cannot claim that the World Cup in South Africa that Germany took was one of the greatest tournaments of all time. So sometimes, um, you know, the the neg negative uh, conversations surrounding who gets the World Cup, where the location is, because obviously in four years' time the World Cup is going to be in America and Canada. Mm -hmm. And you look and you think to yourself, I just wonder if they could ever repeat what was done just as we've seen in Qatar. It was mm. an amazing World Cup. Amazing and, um, indeed. Could, I was watching, yeah. I was looking at a number of comments uh, on social media whilst the game was on and even toward the end of the game. Um, comments like, Messi finally wins a World Cup and the world witnessed the mantle being passed from him to Mbappe. Um, the, uh, Elon Musk uh, tweeted, duel in the desert, couldn't ask for a better game. Yeah, I see. I see. Uh, Oblique Seville, uh, top runner from Jamaica, athlete. He said, "What a game! Witnessed greatness from both sides. Mbappe and Messi. Good job." Uh, politician Anne Marie Vaz said, "That was the most eventful, emotionally unstable, panic-driven game I've witnessed to date. I used all nine lives <laughs> and borrowed two. <laughs> did, you, did you did you see the um, French uh, president?" And Macron, Macron, I mean, yes. that yep. is what you call, you see, when, when people are talking about turn up your socials, the man was turning up his socials the whole way through. I mean, the expression and then get to go down on the pitch and then hug Mbappe and say, well done, lad. And, you know, give him a pat like, yeah, well done. <laughs> he, he, he knew to himself, well, this, yeah. this is going to turn up my social media. So, and I, and I also saw uh, a posting. I don't know if it's true or if it's not, but Conscience, I don't know if Conscience has fooled the, the media. He broke the media with his picture alongside Lionel Messi. Really? No, <laughs> yeah, that, that nearly broke the internet last night. Like, Photoshop is a Photoshop. Conscious ain't said nothing, but that, that picture looks like, I mean, it looks fresh. Yeah. Fresh Conscience, fresh Lionel Messi, like, and he says the goat. Wow! Uh, so social media has definitely turned up. <laughs> what 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 is interesting is a lot of persons who were putting it out there saying, "Hey, blow off the match, please! I can't take no more." People, <laughs> people were oh, no. fearful that they might have had a heart attack. I mean, it really was that kind of match. When France got the uh, the second goal to equalize, I mean, the whole thing changed Amazing. again. And my goodness, the curves and turns of that match. Can't believe I'm. Then right down to the to the penalties. You didn't know what to expect. Yeah, it was I, well, a fantastic. I, I, I match. saw I saw Kingsley Coleman step up, and I, I I said I said this brother looks a bit 
He looks a bit un- undercooked. I just don't think he'd, he'd be able to do it. And he, he um, yeah, proved my theory wrong. Yeah. I didn't think Chuameni would miss a penalty, but the Argentinian goalkeeper is is a master of psychology. He's been doing that in the Premier League for, for a good couple of seasons mm-hmm. now. And it turned out to, um, uh, he turned out to be the difference maker in that penalty. It was definitely down to the goalkeeper. Yeah. These people... It wasn't because of Messi. Yeah, yeah that one. Well, straight. but let me tell you, my my in a conversation before the match, I said uh, to someone, I just want uh, what I want is for Messi to actually um, get a World Cup. So I wanted Argentina to win. But I also said to the individual, I also want um, Mbappe to shine, and um, and 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 I got I got both of those wishes. It was a fantastic yeah, match, yeah, yeah. And, and that's what um, made it a great final because the two players definitely got to. Prove to themselves, prove to the world that they are great players. You know, yeah. um, Messi, um, please, uh, greatest of his generation, not greatest of all times. I mean, please, loud that talk. He's the greatest of his generation, as you know, Richie. There's players that played football in the 80s and obviously in the 70s and the 60s who got kicked all over a the park. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They wasn't allowed to be touched. M- M- Messi playing in a different generation, best of his generation, yes, of all times, no. no. But welcome the new king. Mbappe. Ah. Welcome. Right now, Get a Splash is on my mind. And uh, the organizers say that Christmas will particularly be merry this year as Get a Splash returns. It's a staple of the Yuletide season and uh, it's been running for over three decades. And after a two year hiatus due to COVID 19, uh, now we're back outside with Get a Splash 2022. Um, first one, um, since there are no restrictions in, in, in terms of curfews and so on, and um, everybody's looking forward to being a part of Ghetto Splash, we have with us right now uh, the man behind it all, uh, Mr. Patrick Roberts, as our very special guest. Morning, Patrick. Morning, 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 Richie, and morning to the Bridge listeners. Thank you, sir. How are you? In the, U- the New York City. That's that, oh yeah man in the tri-state area we have a whole and we have we have we have London uh, all across London all across okay. Toronto yeah man it's a worldwide thing you know Patrick definitely <laughs> all right so how are you doing all is well all is well all is well we 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 definitely into production mode yes. at this moment all right um I want you to backtrack a little bit though and tell me a little bit about the history of of Ghetto Splash um Patrick. Well, Ghetto Splash was conceived in 1989. And then it was like a group of us sit down and said, you know, we we had been in my own little Kirk, Tanto Metro. So we were sitting and saying that we want an event with, with, with um, some of our community personnel, included uh, Shereen McKenzie, that's Clyde McKenzie's sister, mm-hmm. and some other um, persons from Crecton. So we were saying basically we want an event like a Japan splash or a sun splash because those days was sun splash. And we said, what would be the best name to have this event into an inner city? So the, the name Ghetto Splash was then uh, created mm-hmm. and coined. And then we said, yes, this is the name of what? Because it's an inner city event. We can't say inner city splash. But we say all right, we are going with the same production like a sun splash, mm-hmm. you know, professionally executed. So we, we, we started the first Ghetto Splash in 1989. Mm-hmm. We, we continue till 1995. We outgrew Craig Town and we moved the event to the National Era Circle in 1996. Mm-hmm. And there in 1996, we had uh, our three um, party leaders at that time came on stage as was done with Michael Manley and Siaga in the by Mike and by the great late Bob Marley. Mm-hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. our three the, the most honorable Bruce Goley, the most honorable Edward Siaga and the most honorable PJ Patterson. Patterson. All three went on stage in ninety six. That was a big moment. That was a big moment in yeah. front of, we had, at that Ghetto Splash, we had over 90, over 50,000 persons in attendance at Eros Circle. And then um, 
we take a break. And then in 2012, we brought back the event because it was so popular demanded. We brought back the event at the Waterhouse Ministerium. Mm -hmm. And we've been hosting it there since 2012. As you earlier alluded, we break for the, the, the two year because of COVID and the restriction. And then now we are back in full fledged for this year. Production wise, Richie and I always mm -hmm. say, I don't know why the sponsors kind of um, little reluctant to support an event of this nature because the inner city people and the ghetto people, as you may call them, are most loyal to their brands. Let me let me let me just put it in another way, man. If 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 certain inner city uh, communities and people who live in the inner cities did not support certain brands, they would not they would not even be in existence. Definitely. And they need to remember that. You know, and this event is, as I said, Richie, the production, when you see and you come at the, the, the stadium and you see the setup, you think you are at a Sunfest, a Rebel Salute, or Jazz and Blue, or any one of the major events that take place in Jamaica. It is, it is part to any one of them when it comes to production. Professionally executed. Professionally executed. Yeah, man, it's a great, and great show. Clear Sound Production mm -hmm. is doing one of the best production for this year, Get a Splash. Sounds good. So, Unbelievable. So you have, a, you have a fantastic lineup, I'm being told. Who can you mention Definitely to us this morning? The artists, I must always give kudos to the artists because they are the ones who make it possible because they are the ones who are doing this event free of cost. And the artists, again, there are so many, so many to mention. The, 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 all the young ones who were, 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 were well, I said, bust on the scene during the COVID <laughs> would be gracing the stage. The, 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 the craft, the jashi, the skeng, the... Um, I, I don't even want to, 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 to mention because I don't want to leave out and time don't permit <laughs> us to call, you know. But it, the good thing about it, Richie, yeah. and I'm saying to most of these artists, they need to take some leave from out of the Monty, the Capitan, the Beaneman, because these artists were on the, the, the 89 to the 92 to the 96 Get a Splash, mm -hmm. and they themselves will be at 2022 Get a Splash. Yeah, yeah, because they know the importance of uh, giving back, in, right. giving back uh, to the and, to the community, and their their their, their longevity yeah. is 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 really something that they need to 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 mimic. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, Taurus Riley is on this year. Bound to kill, as you mentioned, being a man, being a man. Uh, yeah, the but Khan will be there, ah. but we never want to make mention because he had the Burner Boy uh, event last night. But now that that is out of the way, but now that out of the way. Both Capitan and Popcorn will be, you know, you have the Bugle, the Jamil, you know, we have two, George Nooks and, and, and Little John, mm. the veteran Little John. <laughs> 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 and then we still have to, um, you know, the, 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 the whole vibes is right, you know. We have a small team of production, including Cara, who have Showtime. You have Jamie, that's my young one. Mm -hmm. You have Shari, Shari and, Va and Vaz. Yes. You know, a production team with, with Kelvin from Clear Sound, a part of the, the, the production team, you know. Is there, so is, we, is there we, a cost to enter this year? No, it is free. Free the of event cost. It's free of cost. Free of cost. My goodness. Free of All cost. right. So, what's the date for it, uh, Patrick? What it is, is the starting tomorrow. time? It is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I was starting at six o'clock. We have the the, 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 the best sets of um, music selectors: the Boom Boom, the Ari, uh, it, the Bank Bankan, Papi, and you know, eight seven um, eight seven six chord, brother from from Lovers Child. You know, so we have a great, great. So we started off early at six with with, with a showdown from the this, um the the selectors, selectors. Mm -hmm. and then we move into a section of the show, a early section name one and go, and then we start with the big ones starting with the band and rough cut band will be the band on 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 stand. 
talking about a show that is professionally executed. It's free of cost, and it has uh, just about every big name out there right now that you'd expect to be on a show like this. It's uh, right there at the um, it's the Waterhouse Mini Stadium. It's tomorrow, the 20th of December, and it's an annual event. It's been around for over 30 years. Patrick, we have to commend you and the team for, for doing such a fine job. So food and refreshment will be on sale, right? Definitely, and, and we must mention Rich before you, you, you go. We have to mention Rich who came on board with sponsor, and we have to mention Ministry of Entertainment. We have to mention Chase Fund, the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, KSAMC. You know, we have to mention these entities who are always on board. Don't sound entertainment, the eighth straight consecutive mm -hmm. event, and they are with us. You know, Great. so we have to mention the few that really stick out. Boom is 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 the official um, energy drink, mm -hmm. our beverage drink. So we are definitely doing what we have to do in the interest of the people to come and have a good reverence and and and, and party and all our good vibes and all our good vibes. Thank you very much, Patrick. <laughs> Give thanks, bro. Good to good to hear from you, man. Good luck. All right. Respect, Richie. Every I'm time. You know, you are, you are a veteran <laughs> in the. <laughs> <laughs> you know the thing. <laughs> Make up yourself, Patrick. <laughs> hey, Pat Patrick. Yes. I, I want to have them know that uh, back in the day when I used to host the Richie B birthday bash in Port in um, Buff Bay, Portland, that every year you would you, you would just save the date for Richie B for Richie, the shocking Richie vibes. Don't even have to call me. I just know today is a calendar event. Let us know. Be the man and everybody. Everybody. Richie B is. So this is what these are some of the things that like, these new artists need to to understand. Yeah, man. You know, you have to you have to give and take. Definitely, <laughs> brethren, and we thank you for all these years of support, man. Big up yourself every time. All right. all right, that is how we roll. Right now, it's 8.43 a.m. Get a splash on tomorrow. Uh, Waterhouse Mini Stadium starts early with selectors, and then, of course, lots and lots of top, I mean top entertainers. It's a free event. You can't get an event like that anywhere else on earth, and you don't want to miss it tomorrow at uh, Waterhouse Mini Stadium. Get a splash. Big up Patrick and the crew. Now, we have a gentleman who, um, he was registered at birth, Stephen Omar Harper. How many of you know him by that name? Not, maybe not many. But he started out in the big business back in the day as he came to the attention of uh, the head of Ute Man Promotion Recording Studio, Lincoln Granulated Sugar Minot. And that connection started uh, in the mid-1980s, 19, er, early 1980s, as a matter of fact. He uh, went on to tour the world, you'd have to say, as a background vocalist with uh, Sugar Minot. I mean, uh, England, Germany, all across Europe, Canada, Japan, the United States, Gambia in Africa, Malawi, all of these places. He would have toured with uh, Lincoln Granulated Sugar Minot. Uh, he had a monster hit for himself. I've got news for you, which was a number one hit, not just here in Jamaica alone, but all over the world. And then uh, the time came, sometime in the early 2000s, when he uh, decided to uh, go on the path of righteousness and uh, got into gospel music. Here he is this morning as our guest at this time. We say good morning to Shalom. Morning, Shalom. Morning, Rich. How are you doing, sir? I am doing well, my brother. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. All right. Season's greetings. Good to have you here with us. Season's greetings to you, Tavon. Shalom. Uh, let, let me ask you, how did the name Shalom come about, and does it have a meaning? Yes, the name Shalom came about when um, I met my producer, Phil Mathias. You know, he he says that um, the name Harper was an old newspaper in England, so he wanted, he wanted to change my name to give me a special name. So he went on the search and he found this name and he said um i think it suits you because you're a humble person and mm -hmm. peaceful and so he said shalom so when he told me the name i didn't know the meaning of the name is when i get to see if i really know the meaning of the name mm -hmm. you know um shalom really mean um god of peace okay you know um jehovah god of peace but um when i went to africa you know, the people over there, because you have a lot of Muslim in Africa, so they would greet you, Salam Alaikum, Alaikum Shalom, you know, so Shalom is, 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 is also a greeting, 
you say hello also shalom mm -hmm. okay yeah, I, yeah man. all right um and uh that that name has stuck uh, ever since stuck so it was from the days when you're in the secular world and even when you moved yeah. on into the gospel arena you still uh kept the name shalom yes yes which i kept the name you've uh, done a lot of work at one stage you were a part of the catalyst crew um what are those experiences like uh, and then let's move into what you're doing now it was really an experience you know being in a group never been in in a group before you know the dance hall you know you have a whole heap of friends where you know you work on sound system with but you know, not, you know, singing together and playing instrument and all these things. So it was really an experience for me, a great time. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I have to big up Paul Barkley for that. Yeah, yeah. man. Um, I, I want to delve a little deeper into, into the transition from the secular world to the world of gospel. How did that come about for you? Well, it came about when my, my girlfriend decided that she wanted to go to um, America. You know, when she went up, she was um, nowhere to be found. She didn't call me or anything, you know. She just said, Mr. Sharice, and that, that was it, you know. So I began to call all over the place, all over America, Bronx, Brooklyn, you know, New York, Mount Vernon, and, you know, you're calling, I'm not getting through to her. And when I really get to her, she said that she gets saved. I mean, I said, saved. You know, I said, and she said, yeah, man, she gets saved. You know, so me can go on, you know, so me, I said, Okay, all right. So, you know, she said, boy, she gave her life to the Lord. And, you know, when me I look for her fast, so I said, what do you mean when me I look for her fast? You know, I'm there with you for so long, you know, and I this it reach right now. You know, me I said, she said, boy, she, she'll get baptized. And I said, baptized without me? I <laughs> 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 said, me don't know how old advice they come from, but... You know me I say, and when when I I went to New York now to do a concert with um, Richie Spice and Anthony Cruz, them Fifth Element crew. Yes. You know, back in those days in New Rochelle. So when I got to the states, you know, the bandsman them said I'm about too much artist and them care about no more artists. So that's how I didn't get on the show. I went to church, Richie. You know, I went to church and pastor was preaching and when I went inside she was on the floor in the spirit and when I went over to pick her up now them said don't touch her got to deal with her so by the time I get up because I'm the kind of stoop down mm -hmm. and by the time I get up the pastor touched me one touch I'm a drop down beside her I'm a start ball out to Jesus mm -hmm. you know and that's how I was transformed you know you, you, and, you and got up you got up a new man get up a new man Richie man tell up you know and, and my life was never the same mm -hmm. you know ever since yeah ah that's an interesting story um, Shalom <laughs> very yeah, interesting man. very very interesting man yeah yeah you know I, I, I tell people you know Richie say you know you know because people have it to say pastor push down people you know but even myself since I've received the Lord you know sometimes they don't touch people you know Richie you know, they must come in front of you and they must fall down because of the presence of God. You know what I mean? It's not you, but it's the God that liveth in you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When you give yourself to the Lord, you become His instrument. So, you can't use it to do anything. Many people may touch on them, drop down and, you know, demon come out and all these things. So, you know, it, 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 it's not you, but it's the Christ. So, it, it's nothing for you to boast about. Mm -hmm. You, you, know, you, you it's not your work. Yeah, I understand clearly what you're saying. Um, do you currently um, like operate as a minister, or, or do you just minister through your music? Yeah, man, I operate as a minister. I'm a bishop in the Church of the Lord, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm a bishop <laughs> at um, E.T. Young Street in Spanish Town. That's where the church is located. Mm -hmm. International Faith in Action Deliverance Ministries. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I remember I saw you at a wedding some time ago, and you actually gave me a CD. I played I played the song which I'm going to play this morning again, "Me yeah. Daddy No Dead." In fact, Dad, um, I remember I remember also you gave me a cap that um, that carries those words, the yes, words of sir. the title. Um, how well the, is the song doing for you? It's doing well, you know. Um, I I am getting rave reviews from that song, you know, and 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 that song is is released for a little, a little while now, but. You know, you can't give up sometimes, you know, the music take a while to catch on to the people, you know, and so, but it's doing great, 
you know, people love it. Yeah, man. What else are you working on? Um, 2023 is around the corner. Um, any plans to release whether an EP or an album or more singles? What are the plans going forward? Yeah, I, I have an album finished now, just mastered, and, you know, we're getting the artwork done. You know, I call this album my fishing album because, you know, Richie, I, I realize that the music, the music uh, has, has reached a stage, you know, and, 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 and there's no consciousness anymore. You know, so, you know, I, I have some songs, you know, that I penned, you know, through the inspiration, you know, of the Almighty. And and, and, and this one is coming. It, mm -hmm. It's coming very, very soon. And the title of the album is, you know, Tailor Made. You know, Tailor Made. Tailor Made. <laughs> yeah, man. So, you know, it's, 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 love songs are on it, Richie. Mm -hmm. You know, I have um, music about, you know, what is happening in the world today. You know, and and and, and the social commentary. Mm -hmm. You know, music to 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 heal the nation and 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 and, and to give the the people and the youths mostly a, a different direction to to look on life and look on things. We yeah. need, we need that kind of energy out there in in our space. Believe me, Shalom, and I want to wish you all the best. Um, yeah. For persons listening right now, where where can they find you? Are you on social media? What are the handles? Yeah, yeah I'm social media. I'm on. Mm -hmm. I'm on um, Instagram, it's Stephen Shalom Harper. Same thing for Facebook, Stephen Shalom Harper. And if you want to get me on YouTube, you can just put in um, Shalom Music Space Official. Oh. So Shalom Music, one word, then you press the space button and then you put in official. And you see, you know, a lot of my stuff is there. All right, Bishop. Great meeting, uh, catching up with you again, and I wish you all the best. Uh, we're here to support you going forward. Big up yourself, and Happy New Year when it comes, all right? Yeah, man. No respect with you. God bless you, sir. God yeah, bless man. you too, my brother. And uh, we have our final uh, interview for this morning. As a matter of fact, um, DJ Snow and Scoffla, we understand, are gearing up for the official launch party for their Run Come Rhythm. And they have quite a lineup of artists on this rhythm. Um, described as a laid-back vibe, um, but sending relevant messages um, on this, all the tracks on this rhythm, and it has been building quite a vibe for for for, for since since it's um it's been exposed on the airwaves and so on in the dance halls, and uh, the official launch is slated for tonight at Rebel T HQ at 52 Dumbarton Avenue in uh, Kingston 10, starting at 7 o'clock. And it promises to be off the chain. So who do, who do we have this morning? DJ Snow and uh, Jathunda. My brethren, Jathunda is here with us. Jathunda, how are you doing? Blessed, blessed. Greetings, 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 Father Richard. Greetings. Every time. Every time, my bro. And uh, morning, DJ Snow. Richie B, it's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure. All the years, man, I'm just talking to you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> good to have you both on the on the on the um, on the on the program with us this morning. Um, Snow, g g yes, sir. Take us to the beginning of of this concept, the Run Come Rhythm. What inspired it? Well, I always love the song with Tony Tuff did. Um, Run Come Come, make we have some fun. So that's one of my favorite reggae songs from back in the days. And as a DJ, me love play the song, so I'm going to get 20 to from in the early, early 90s and put it on dub play to and love the song. And from that, that rhythm did just strike me. So I realized that rhythm didn't come back, so I decided to bring back that rhythm to the forefront. You understand? Mm -hmm. Bring back that vibe there. Yeah. And so far, so good. Usually, as a producer, you might have a concept or an idea. Um, yeah. But 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 when you take it to the artist now, that is when you start picking up a vibe. Like what what was it like? Were they saying, "Yo, father, yo, Ms. Snow, that rhythm is blood"? What, what <laughs> is it? Richie, we love that. We love that energy, Richie. Yeah. You know, let me tell you what's going on. Now. Tell me. You, 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 me send it to one of my virgin. Cause I, I was on a radio station and I sent it to my virgin. I said, "Moi, you do a dub plate on this, you know." His name is Aymaro, he's also on the album. Mm -hmm. And the man sent it back and said, No, nah, I do not do play, so you're a big selector on the radio. You need to produce. <laughs> so, I so sent it to my next virgin now, when he named Scuffler, where him and me now end up co produce the album. Because when he heard him, I said, Jesus, peace. So, I'm going to get Derek Barnett. And Derek Barnett said, Yo, let me fix it up some more, because the rhythm is too bad. And Derek Barnett do that excellent job on it. Mm -hmm. And then I send it go now, I go for Sizzler now, and Sizzler in the water will advise. And I said, go and play the rhythm. And Sizzler will admit and say, Jesus, left it with me. Left it with me right away. 
And I said, just go around. I'm going to go to Jatunda and keep it on now. And keep it on and listen to it. And I said, yeah, I love it. Left it with me. At the same time, Jatunda come with a hook and say, I want to put the part, the part up on the song. Mm -hmm. And I just yeah. said, I go around. And Bertos and everybody. I just said, I go around, go around. Everybody love the energy of the rhythm. So the songs and the rhythm is so perfect. It just fit the rhythm so well. So look at it now. You have Richie Stevens, Sizzler, Capleton, Ja Thunder. You've got George Nooks, Mr. Bertus, Mr. Diamond, Aymara. You have Mangano, Capital D out of Connecticut, Tony Tuff himself, yeah. Horace Sandy, and there is more. So, so Ja Thunder, your initial reaction when you heard the rhythm, what is it like? It's like... You guys can see the rhythm in Chippewa, you hear the rhythm, the rhythm attack itself, you know. You see me? So it's like when you bring the rhythm, come out there, they are all reason. It's like we are reason about that thing. You see me? We are reason about that thing and come like the thing where we are reason about. It's like a man take to take something from a man, but you know, it's a man and take it from. So a next man thief is from, so we have to see from thief, God laugh, you know what I mean? So we have a whole reason that. And I said, I just saw the energy come to where I said, so I said, I have to go to the and I said, Bobby, and take what is not yours. I want to know if he wants to take a next man, take it for him, you see me? Yeah, man, so I just saw the energy come, man, and I just saw the song come, you see me? Yeah, just like that, just like that. So, so, so your song is yourself and profit? Keep yeah, it. man, me and the king, man, yeah. Just like that, just like that. Um, mm -hmm. w w w as an artist, now that you've, um, you know, the, the rhythm is out there, getting some earplay, getting some some rotation in the dances and so on, w w what are you picking up? Good vibe from it? Yeah, man, a nice energy, man. People from all over the world, from Africa, everywhere linked up on it, man. Because you know Richard B, you know, say, at the second combination, it's me and the king of the official, you know, because you know, say, the first one, fire warrior, it's, you know, say, anytime the fire... And the sun not coming, you know, I'll be something, though. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Now, yeah, uh, no, by no, the way, no. Tonda, will you be performing at the launch tonight at um, Rebel THQ? Yeah, man, definitely, man, definitely, man. We're in that thing, I don't know a positiveness, and I know just Tonda, I really would have really need to do it, you know, so I don't know from my hopefulness and a positiveness, what that is, isn't it? Just like that. J uh, DJ Snow, um, this is already uh, off to, you're off to a good start. What else you have in the Thank pipeline? You. Well, we have a lot in the pipeline, you know, Richie, but you know, sometimes you have some other things, but you just want to push a thing at first. Because we have one more tune of advice upon Pudong, you know. But we just want to get that album here out and come more. You know, then we have Richie B. As a man like you, a professional in our business. You know, you want to crowd everything. Mm -hmm. You want it one step at a time. And many people get used to this album. I give them like another six months with this. And then we'll come out to the other album where we have ready to go. So what, yeah, is, the what is the plan that you have as, as the producer for, for this uh, launch this evening at Rebel THQ? I want them to come out and, 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 and interact with the artists. Them, cause the artists some are here, you know. I won't say who's going to be there and who's not going to be there. Because some fire out. Because, you know, the Christmas season, everybody are also them do them bustles. So you can't tell a man, say, you have to stay for the album. But most of the artists will be there a little more that you mentioned their name already. And, um, you know, so me also have a track for it, too, you know. So, so what's going on? Me, Tally, and Shay, I'm also on the album to you know, Richard B. So I want you, you play that tune and listen to it very carefully as well, you know? All right, so <laughs> I will check it out. So, yeah, man. So look at one of the people come out and interact with the artists. They ask them and do one and two songs, you know? Mm -hmm. And we have some finger food that occurred this year, Jolly. So it's a, it's a awesome. Come on. All right. Um, expect a wicked performance from my brethren, Jatonda here. So the man yeah, in the normal. I'm a brethren. I'm a brethren. I'm a I'm a I'm a brethren. I'm a brethren. I'm a 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 Matthew Mondays every Monday. So I am the host for Matthew Mondays. So I decided to do the album launch at Matthew Mondays. So every uh -huh. Monday, people can just come on down and hear some good music with DJ Sam, Billy Slaughter, and many more big selectors also. All right. Jatanda, where can they find you on social media? Yeah, but when they don't do it with the part of Instagram, it's Jatanda, two R at the end of that is. P H O D E R R, you know what I mean? Yes, I Yeah, but on Facebook, I just turned that officially. You see me? Bless, yeah, up, bless up yourself, Thunder. Bless up yourself, yeah, Snow. Yeah, man, today that I want King Shango, the King of Fire, because you don't know the King of Fire who says it, and them time, the Sizzla Colon, the same way. You know what I mean? One family. You know what I mean? Bojo Bantan, you know what I mean? Because one Rastafari, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, I. Yeah, man, I want you to know, so here, where you say, bad is another way, bad is another career. You hear? Yeah, Loud and clear. Loud yeah. and clear. Ja Thunder, big up yourself. Yeah, DJ man. Snow as well. Good luck tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Bless up yourself. Every time. Hear the Matruna.